Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to the channel. My name is Lindsay, and this is Life with Lindsay. Today, we have a post review. Um, if you do not know what a post review is, that is when I share all of my thoughts and opinions, the good, bad, the ugly, on a canvas that I have recently completed. Um, please keep in mind that everything that I state here, the opinions are all my own, and things that may be important to me may not be important to you, and vice versa. Um... But if you're new here, hi, welcome, my name is Lindsay, I do mainly diamond painting and some other crafting related content, and I would love for you to like, subscribe, hit the bell, hop aboard that hot mess express, let's be friends. Um, before I get super into this, this is Lollipop Daydream, this is a DIY Moonshop canvas. Um, the time of this posting, unfortunately DIY Moonshop has closed their doors and they are no longer in business. Uh, I briefly touched base on this in my previous whip and chat, so if you guys would like to check that one, I'll link that in the eye for you guys, but I just want to say, me making this post review is not my way of coming on here and saying, like, let's bash a, a, a family-run business while they're already down, um, because that is not my intention at all. I do want to say, I'm sharing this here in hopes that it reaches the right audience. Uh, those who... I mean, obviously, if you're here because you just want to see my content, I appreciate that. Um, but anybody who has a DIY Moonshop kit in their stash and they're wondering what the quality is like before they work on it, or anybody who purchased this and wants to see what the outcome of it is, or just anybody who wants to see, like, how this image came out. I, my last purchase, which was three canvases, two of which I've unboxed, um, and I'll link those other two this one and the other one throughout the video here, but uh, the third one I have not shared publicly yet. Um, but in case anybody is curious, this is typically not my style. I am, I, I love the big eyed girls, don't get me wrong. Those are my number one things, but this is a very soft image and very like monochromatic in, in terms of the color palette, but there was just something mesmerizing about this image that I had to have it. So I placed an order during one of their sales. I believe it was one of their last big sales. Um, I'm not here to discuss the ins and outs of, of what happened to the company. Um, I can't speak to that. I, you know, I haven't personally reached out to them. I wouldn't personally be reaching out to them because, you know, you wouldn't call somebody up when they lost their job and say, what happened? What'd you do? Um, but to each their own. So I did want to share this with you guys. I know there are some people who follow me who are curious, uh, my thoughts and opinions because I have done a previous canvas from DIY Moonshop and I was left a little underwhelmed. Um, if you guys would like to see the post review for my previous DIY Moonshop, um, that is the Alice and Roses. I will leave that one up in the eye for you guys, but Let's get into this. As you can see, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous image. This is Lollipop Daydream by Dewi Nice. I'm, I'm probably butchering that again, and I do apologize. Um, she is a 50 by 50 round drill. Uh, this has a total of 43 colors, one of which is an AB. They give you an AB to replace a color in the canvas, and you can choose whether you want to mix it in or use it in place of it. Uh, the AB I was given was 5200, uh, and I just replaced anything that had that symbol with it, so you can see some, like, patches of white. Um, I'll get into that in a minute. Uh, I completed this canvas in a total of 35 hours and 23 minutes over the span of 11 days. She's beautiful. I absolutely love this image. Now, I will show you what the original artwork looks like here in my notebook, um, and I can put it up on the screen, too. I'll put that up here so you guys can see. The rendering of this is actually much, much darker than the image itself. Um, there are certain things like this darkness in the eye. I'm not really sure. Uh, or, like, the dark, dark shading around the face and neck. Um, or this random super light patch. But I will say, like, I love the way the hair came out. I love the way the eyes came out. Although it is weird because she... The eyelashes got lost in translation. I don't... I don't know what that's about, but overall, I like... I love the image. I like the final process, the product. Um, so... I'm going to go over a few things with you guys here. So as I mentioned, I replaced the... Let me show you guys my drills. Um, the option... This color was what was charted on the canvas. This is 712. 
uh, and this was the AB replacement. Um, so I'm not sure why it was chosen to be white for a tan color, um, but I made the decision earlier in the canvas to do it, and I just stayed with it the whole time. As you can see, I had no fear of running out of drills. Everything had lots and lots of drills. Now, these are acrylic drills. They're square drills or resin. They're acrylic dr The round drills are acrylic. Um, I believe that's why there was such a difference in price between the round and square canvases. I've never worked on one of their squares, so I can't speak to the quality of their squares. But these are those acrylic drills that are super rounded. Um, there's no facets to them. So while they are super, super sparkly, like it does look really nice, they weren't my absolute favorite drills in the world to work with. Um, and in particular, the ABs. So these right here, you can see all these patches of white here. They're the, oh, and I lost one. Let's put that one back on while I'm talking. Um, I, these are the kind of ABs that, let me see if I can explain this in a way that makes sense. These are the kind of ABs where the coating kind of gums up your wax. You can't use new wax or it'll rip it out. And you can't use too dirty of a wax because it won't pick it up. But you can only work with X amount of ABs before your pen is just like, nah, I'm done. It leaves like this dustiness in the wax and it makes it harder to work with. I, I can't speak to how it works with putty. Um, I've used putty here and there, but in general, I'm just a pink wax kind of girl. Um, but these are definitely not my favorite ABs. However, I did use some of my own ABs in this canvas. Let me put my, what did I do? Oh, <laughs> so let's start with, I should say my own special drills. So in the eyes here, let's see if I can, without zooming you guys in, you guys can see I placed quad cubes in the eye. Um, I really like the way that turned out. Um, I also replaced the symbol Y right here, which was, what letter was that? Uh, 3376. I replaced them with the rose gold special drills that I had. Um, overall, there were a lot of colors in here that I was surprised, um, in general, DIY Moonshop's rendering style is a much more softer, like, watercolor-based kind of rendering. Um, and they're one of those companies that they have tons and tons of confetti. I mean, I worked on an eyeball, and I couldn't believe that I used almost all of the colors in my kit. Uh, with the exception of the two spots in the eyes, and then one spot down here, that, like, t blue shade was nowhere else in the canvas... Um, it was all different shades of pinks and tans, um, and it's a beautiful image. I just, it's not my favorite rendering. Um, in terms of trash, this is what I had. It's really not a lot. Uh, I don't know if you guys can tell from here. So you have some that are just misshapen. I had a lot of those round, like, mini drills. Some that were just slightly smaller and some that were, like, significantly smaller, like the ones up here. I've noticed, and this is just personal experience, that many canvases that have pink drills, different shades of pink, it doesn't matter what pink it is. Um, I want to say 603 is usually, like, the culprit, which there is a 603 in this, so that would make sense. Um, I don't know why. They always seem to have the tiny mini drills when I work with them. Um... So, a couple things that I do want to go over. Uh, there were a lot of really <sighs> poor symbol choices. Too similar of symbol choices. Um, like, one of the most annoying ones is B and 8. That was all over my canvas. Um, there was B and 8. There was an I and 1. An A and 4. And these were almost, I think all of them were all similar colors. So A and 4 were scattered throughout together. And they were both the same shade. And it was hard to differentiate. Um, G and C. 5 and S. Um, 6 and 9, which were the exact same color on the canvas. And my absolute favorite is M and N. Uh, they were more of like the mauve tones. Um, my problem with that is I had to physically turn off my light pad and get very, very close to see if it was an M or an N. Um, I'll scatter some pictures up here. I'm pretty sure I still have them in my phone, um, of some of the symbols together so you could see. Uh, it, 
It slowed me down a little bit, but it wasn't to the point that it was, like, unbearable. The M and the N were by far the worst because I had to turn my light pad off. And at one point, I had to turn the overhead life off because it was reflected. It was just a mess, and it was really, really hard to distinguish. And the M and the N were both, like, a, a mauve-colored background with a white, blurry symbol, so that didn't help. Um, the... Don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it here, but I had this like weird dirtiness across the side and in like certain portions, like you can see it here. Um, this particular side, the adhesive runs to about the middle of that stripe. Um, if you guys know me, I am very rarely am I somebody who uses washi. I had to line the bottom of the canvas because the glue extended so far. I actually had a cheap washi underneath that peeled up. It like wouldn't even stick to the canvas, um, but it left all that marking. So then I put another washi over it. Um, then I had like weird spots where there was glue here, but it didn't go up the side. So it didn't seem worth it for me to cover it. Uh, and then you can see that just the uneven amount of excess glue, like there it is there. But over here, none. Um, so for me, if I were going to do something with this, um, I would probably use maybe acetone and try to clean up some of the edges. Uh, but I'm not 100% sure. The adhesive on this, and I've heard other people say it before where they've worked on it, where it feels like it just hasn't fully cured and it's a little slippery. Uh, I, don't, I don't really know how to explain it. I've had other canvases, unfortunately I've had other like really cheap canvases, like we're talking like dropship company, $5, $10 canvases that had adhesive like that. Uh, and when I would slide my canvas so that I could move the next part, it felt like the drills were shifting a little bit. So I do have a slight concern that maybe they won't adhere long term to the canvas. Um, in my unboxing of this, I mentioned that they had changed the canvas from a sturdier like canvas um like vinyl canvas to one of these soft back ones which i like the soft back covers but this is really thin like i could just like crumble it up um which made it a little in my opinion a little bit more difficult to work with just because it felt uh unstable for lack of better terms um but when I did shift it, like I did have to replace a couple drills and I had to realign them with my straightener. Uh, so there's that. I will say I really appreciated that there seemed to be a minimal amount of uh, trash drills. And I never once had a concern that I was running out of drills. So I do appreciate that because we've all worked on canvases where you're like, oh, I'm going to run out of drills. Um, I love... I love this image. I, I'm not sure that this particular rendering did her justice um you know like i said it's rendered a lot darker than the original is i understand that shading exists but like this shading here especially on like the side of her face and her neck it's just very extreme and i didn't have it in me to attempt to like redo it uh i love this image but unfortunately it didn't it didn't translate in the way that i would have hoped it would I have only worked on one DIY Moonshop kit previously, and it's my understanding, going into this, that they had recently changed their rendering style, I don't know how recently, and some people were feeling less than enthusiastic about it, um, and feeling a bit underwhelmed about it, and I will say that, um, I know this sounds harsh, especially because they just closed their doors, I feel like this wasn't the best that they could have put forward. That being said, I still love the, the image. Um, but I, I came into this a little hesitant just because of a previous experience, but I came in with an open mind and I was willing to work on it and I was excited to work on it. And the excitement never weaned regardless of the process, regardless of any of the symbol quality issues or the way the rendering was, I was excited to work on this and I loved working on it the whole time. Um, obviously I had a few hiccups that were frustrating, but that being said, I enjoyed working on this canvas. Um, I wouldn't willingly go out and like seek one from a D stash group, but my personal style of rendering is not this. Um, for those who don't know me or you're new to my channel or newer to my channel, 
I am a fan personally of much more like crisp clean lines uh, and not so much of the soft blended style. So I did know going into this is an image that is rendered differently than what I would personally choose. But there's something about this image, this face, this girl that I just could not stop thinking about. And I'm glad I got her. Um, I will say it definitely looks better in the viewfinder. Um, like I can see this is supposed to be an earring and an earring and an ear. And I couldn't really tell that while I was working on it. Um, but she is beautiful. And I think the overall finish, you know, it looks shiny. Um, and you can definitely tell what it is. It's not like you finished it and you go, what is that? But unfortunately for me, in this particular canvas, the cons definitely outweighed the pros for me personally. Um, rendering style aside, I just, I think it was just done too harshly. You know, I'm not sure like this, even if it was all dark, like I'm not sure what this patch and this patch were, like why they came out that way. Um, but I'm going to get going. I don't want to, again, I don't want it to sound like I came on here and I'm just here to bash a company um, because that is definitely not my intention. And uh, my heart goes out to their family because they were a family run business. Uh, I just know that there are people who want to know what other people's are experiences, good or bad. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Um, and that's it. That's all I got for you guys. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more content like this, please give this video two thumbs up. One real life, one virtual. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Come, join the Sparkle Squad. And while you're there, hit that notification bell. I do not operate on any sort of schedule. I operate on toddler standard time, and I record when my tiny human is sleeping or sleeping. Thank you guys so much for being here. I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys. Bye.